Hey guys, it's Makeup Ray and welcome back to my channel. So today is kind of a interesting kind of sad video because I woke up today and I found out that Cube Entertainment has kicked out Kiana and E Dawn. I mean Kiana, Edwin and Cree are in a group together called Triple H under Cube Entertainment as well. So I think something was going on where uh, there were rumours speculating that they were dating and Cube denied it and then a few days later Kiana on Instagram announced that they were actually dating and said that you know what I don't want to look into my fans eyes and lie to them which I understand like I gave her props for that. <laughs> As you know, in the K-pop community, when idols start d dating, it's like mind for blowing up, like it's something massive and crazy, and it can literally make or break your career. And in this case, I don't think it will break the career, but it's you know, it's a big thing to be kicked out of your company. That's something massive. So you've had in instances like the one that springs to mind for me is Becky Allen and Taeyeon. They've been dating. That was like a few years ago, and still today, like whenever Taeyeon, like Taeyeon posted a a post of BTS's album on the day Beckham and Loco released their songs and still to this day fans were like going at her like how could you do this to Beckham you know he released this song you're being evil how could you do this to Beckham and I'm just sitting here thinking like oh my gosh like okay I know they might have dated uh because we don't know if it's real or not or whatever but you know Taeyeon is her own person Beckham is her own person and aside from the k-pop industry they all have their own secret lives like I know they have their idol life but they also have their private life and that's the thing that like fans especially Korean fans of the group need to understand that people need to have their own lives that they can't dedicate themselves to being an idol if they do that how do you ever expect them to find love to get children to be happy and live the life that everyone else lives you can't expect them to slave away until they're 30 and then it'll be too late to find anyone because everyone's already married off like i don't understand <laughs> This is actually really appalling especially for um e dawn because pentagon is a, i think it's a new group i don't really know much about them but i've been re reading on the story i think it's a new group and he's in triple h as well so for hyana and e dawn to be kicked out of the group that means triple h doesn't exist anymore they just had a comeback and their song was really really good with like the retro vibe and stuff like that so um that doesn't exist anymore and that's for hui he's Kick, that's doesn't that's fine now now pentagon has lost another a member so that's going to affect you know the relations in the group because he don't want to be really close to his members and he's just going to disappear now and i might be feeling really guilty just ruined this guy's career because she's the one who announced it and i think they were saying in an article he was quite hesitant to reveal it but he thought you know he should do it so he's he i don't think he will be able to get into a new company because they're obviously going to think oh He's the guy that has relationships with other um, idols. With Hyanna, she will be okay. She's like amazing. And as people have been saying on Twitter, she literally, she literally held Cube on their back. Like she's literally been carrying them the whole way, even for a minute, um, even after. And now, now they've kicked out, their stocks have dropped and have plummeted drastically. So it's like, <laughs> that's what you get cube like that's what you get when you kick out one of your biggest artists from there who did nothing wrong but dating with the idols and i know that people can take the argument like okay it's a known thing in the k-pop industry you do not date so like you should just turn your feelings off you should just do what you came from like you're an idol you're a machine you should just you know focus on the music focus on the dance focus on your fans pleasing them and until you know the fans eventually leave you because they do every group's popularity plummets when a new one comes in you should just then then go and live your life and figure out what you're gonna do then afterwards like it's a bit crazy to me I don't know like I understand like that might be the culture the Korean culture there but it's kind of it's kind of a bit crazy because you have like in over here in the UK and America when artists start dating everyone's happy for them like Nick Jonas with his engagement Justin Bieber Ariana Grande all those people everyone's like wow this is good like they're living their lives they found people that they like and it's just so weird how over there in Korea it's just completely different <laughs> Kiana 
also admitted that they've been dating for two years. Now, I don't think that he would have not known this because I think it's impossible. There's that company in Korea called Dispatch and they outed Baekhyun and Taeyeon. I think um, the actors, you know, the one in weightlifting parish, they outed them. There's been other actors that they find out. So Dispatch finds these things out. They must have gone out on dates, like they can't have just bought been and if they were dating inside their company cube would have known and wouldn't have kicked them out so i think cube knew about this and they collectively agreed okay you guys aren't going to disclose that you're dating it's been going on for two years let's keep it like that and kiana might have um, um announced on instagram and obviously maybe they're thinking okay if they think it's okay to date you know then i guess Maybe if they think it's okay to date, then I guess other idols in our companies might think it's okay to date. It might start a catapult in other um, companies as well where they get rid of the no dating rule. I know YG has a really strict no dating rule. So I guess they thought, well, the only thing for us to do is kick them out. I know they started with Edon by removing him from promotions and then removing him from the fan side and then eventually kicking him out. But I guess Cube Entertainment felt that was the only way because I personally don't think there's no way they could not know for two years. Um, there's also the argument that they hid it really well and that they managed to go around the company and they didn't find out which is why they denied it in the first place and then when Hyuna, um, you know, announced it, like they said in the article, it really broke their trust and they couldn't trust them anymore so they felt that there was no other reason but to kick them out. Going on forward, I, I don't know, I just think it's going to affect them, their lives really seriously. I feel like they're both going to be feeling guilty, both thinking, you know, maybe why did I um, start this? This is like, might have ended our careers. But I'm praying and I'm hoping that, you know, they sign to another label that will take them and realise, you know, okay, maybe you guys did date, but you guys are actually artists. You, you're talented, you have good skills, you can sing, you can dance, and people like you. So I don't, and that, I don't think that they should be kicked out, so they're going to take them in. Yeah, I think that's what should happen. The most important thing is that they're free. They can now date freely without any restrictions, without having to hide themselves. And I guess I'm thinking from an international standpoint, for me, like if they're walking on the streets and dating, I'd be like, wow, that's so good. Like, get, get your ish, sis. But then I realise in Korea, everyone hates them, so we'd be walking around in public. But they will be, you know, they will have a weight lifted off their shoulders, they've told everyone and now they can be dating together without the worry of people having to catch them and they can just chill, you know? I really hope that, you know, Hana and Edon don't regret the decision that they made to tell people because maybe it will bring a, a change in the K-pop industry that, hey, look, maybe it's okay to date because sometimes with some people you can't turn your feelings off and sometimes it just happens. Maybe this will bring a change and I hope, like, they keep us updated on Instagram, you know, talking about this stuff and maybe, you know, more idols will follow suit because I know lots of K-pop fans seem to think that a lot of their idols are gay together secretly and you know, all that stuff. So maybe even though it might have got them kicked out of the company, it might result in greater things getting a better company, a change in the K-pop industry where people might be allowed to date. This thing it's resulted in their happiness and their freedom. <laughs> I just think for them to have to kick them out of the company, something massive behind the scenes must have been going on. Maybe there's pressures from, I don't know, other idol companies saying you need to get rid of them. It's going to start problems in our companies. Um, or, I don't know, they just... Or maybe they felt two years is a really lack of trust. Or they just felt, okay, you've gone into the public eye, you've kind of embarrassed our company even though we agreed to do this. And I guess the only way for us is to get rid of you, maybe they've given them money, I don't know. I, I probably doubt it, you know, in the Korean system. But yeah, in my heart, I really, really just hope that Hyona and Edorn are okay, that they're taking this well, you know, that they maybe they're happy, that they're, you know, that they're able to be free and that, you know, as soon as possible, they start looking out for other companies to scout them. And I pray that, you know, there won't be this thing where they're now blacklisted in Korea, like Two for Cables was the previous president for just speaking about political issues. That's something different. But I really hope they're not blacklisted, not going to have difficulty being signed and that they're going to have to 
work as solo um, solo artists because even though they can probably still make it, it's going to be um, a lot harder, you know, with the personal funding, getting on music shows like that. It's so much bigger than this because now that I've mentioned music shows, they could be blacklisted for music shows. So you don't know if they will allow Tiana back on. The Cube might go to um, Mnet and Show Champion, all those places, pay them and be like, look, you can't let her perform here. So I really hope it doesn't escalate to that. But I think a cube picking out of the company is something so dramatic and something so exaggerated that really didn't need to happen in this situation for them dating. <laughs> just said you know we're gonna keep it the company could have just nipped it in the bud when it was released say okay he's not gonna be at this fan sign but he's gonna be in the next comeback if they put him in the next comeback it would have normalized things sure um they would have got hate for a bit like every group does but Young got so much hate in like so like probably he was almost kicked out but after a while everyone forgot and everyone loved him again so if they put um, Edwin back in Pentagon, everyone would have loved him and would have been fine, they would have got used to it and they could have just said, you know, we're going to keep our dating on the low profile or they could have just said they broke up and everyone would have been happy, they could have lied about it again, which they probably didn't want to do, which is why the only uh, solution was to kick them out. But yeah, what do you guys think on this topic? Um, what do you guys think about what's happened? Let me know in the comments down below if you're on the standpoint that Cube did know about it or that they didn't and any other stuff that you want to drop down in the comments below. So if you guys like this, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, comment and I'll see you guys in the next video.